they said that that house had flooded years before and the lady didn't do nothing about it and mold ants and horrific conditions for ernesto garza and his family the family went to texas rio grande legal aid and filed a federal lawsuit against border melons company and several of its owners they say they were forced to live and work in substandard conditions while employed in quemado texas back in 2012. it's for failure to pay them the minimum wage which is 725 per hour as well as overtime for the time that they worked in the packing shed and for breach of contract because they were promised a certain amount of work for various seasons and housing, free housing of a certain quality, which they didn't receive. And this isn't the first time the company has been sued for similar claims. Back in 2008, the company was prohibited by a court order from terminating employees without notice or cause. CBS 4 News attempted to speak with someone at one of Border Melons' office in Edinburgh but we were told to leave and that they had no knowledge of a lawsuit. The Migrant and Seasonal Agricultural Worker Protection Act says workers are entitled to certain wages and sanitary working and living conditions, which the lawsuit alleges were not met. Ernesto says the conditions affected his job and his ability to provide for his three kids. We're at work since 7 in the morning to 12, 1, 2 in the morning, and no time for them, and it's, it's, it's tough. Ernesto says when he expressed concerns over working the night shift and not being able to ensure the safety of his children, he and his wife were fired. Just imagine, things became even harder for us because one day we're there and the next they told us we don't have a job anymore. In Edinburgh, Patrick Chauvier, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.